Hi guys, let's do some important sums on ratio and proportion. Okay. So exercise 12B, question number 1. Determine whether the following are in proportion or not. 2 boys, 5 girls, 6 boys, 9 girls. Okay. What is the condition of proportionality? Yes. Product of extremes is equal to product of means. And uh, if this condition is fulfilled, then only you can say that the terms are in proportion. Otherwise, not. And uh, one more thing, order of the terms is uh, very important. You can't change this order. Okay. So here, what are the extremes? First, second, third, fourth. First and fourth terms are extreme terms. And uh, second and third terms are means. So let me write product of extremes is equal to what? 2 into 9 is equal to 18. And product of means is equal to what? 5 into 6 middle terms. 5 into 6 is equal to 30. Now you see what have we found? This uh, since 18 is not is equal to 30, therefore product of extremes is not is equal to product of means. That means they are not in proportion. Not in proportion. Okay. Question number three. Find the fourth proportional of three, five, and twenty-one. Okay. Let it be, let it be x. Now, according to question, what is given? 3, 5, 21 x are in proportion. But uh, how can we say they are in proportion? How can we say that these terms are in proportion? Right. If they are in proportion, we know then 3 is to 5 s. 21 is to x. So, they are in proportion. Now, we can get the value of x from here. It implies 3 divided by 5 is equal to 21 divided by x. It implies 3 by cross multiplication. 3x is equal to 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. It implies x is equal to 105 divided by 3, we can cut it. 3 ones are 3, 3 is a 9, 15, 3 fives are 15 is equal to 35, which is the fourth proportional to 3, 5, 21. Okay? Question number 4. If 14, 21, and x are in continued proportion, find the value of x. Okay, this is a problem on continued proportion and we know in case of continued proportion all to tell three terms are there and uh, both the middle terms remain same which comes twice. Therefore, here 14, 21x middle term is 21, 14 is to 21, we can write like that 14 is to 21 is proportional to 21 is to x. 14 is to 21 is as 21 is to x. Now, uh, we can find the value of x in two ways. Uh, either by using the formula or fact which we know product of extremes is equal to product of means or directly by calculating value of x from this. Now, I am following the formula which is a product of extremes is equal to when four terms are in proportion then product of extremes is equal to product of means now here extreme terms are 14 and x therefore 14 into x is equal to means are 21 21 that means 21 into 21 implies 14 x is equal to what is 21 into 21 21 into 21 is 4, 41 implies x is equal to, it will come down here, 
four forty one divided by fourteen. I'll cut it. Fourteen ones are fourteen. Fourteen threes are forty two. Twenty one fourteen ones are fourteen. Point. This is seventy. Five fourteen are seventy. This is equal to thirty one point five. And this is the value of x. Okay. Question number seven. Find the mean proportional between thirty six and forty nine. Okay. We know if uh, A, B, C are three quantities which are in continued proportion, then the value of B, which is mean proportional, we can get by using the formula B is equal to square root of A C. Now here you see A and C are given, and we will have to find out the value of B. Now by using formula, I am getting mean proportional is equal to square root of thirty six into forty nine is equal to square root of six square into seven square is equal to six into seven. We know square root of six square is equal to six square root of seven square is equal to seven is equal to forty two, which is the mean proportional. Between thirty six and forty nine, understand? Question number thirteen. In a certain concrete mixture, the ratio of cement to sand is one is to five. How many bags of cement would be used with two hundred bags of sand? Okay, here this concept of proportion we are using to make the mixture of cement and sand. Yeah, this is what you are. सीमेंट और सेंडर रेसिओ कि दिखे वन इज टू फाइव देट मीन्स एक भाग सीमेंटर पाँच भाग सेंड मिलवा टू हाण्ड्रेड बेग सीमेंट सेंडर कि सीमेंट लगे बेसि हमने कम हम अफकोर्स कम हम कारण इतने एक भाग सीमेंट हम पाँच भाग सेंड आम मिली टू हाण्ड्रेड बेग सेंडर वन फिफ्थ सीमेंट लगे So let x bags of cement solution. Let x bags of cement is required. Okay, then we can write one is to five is proportional to x is to two hundred. Here you see in first part. Cement one part and sand five parts. That means cement to sand is one is to five. And in second case, second part also cement x bags and sand two hundred bags. That means cement is to sand. You see like this cement is to sand. And here also cement is to sand. That means order is maintained. It is I am just writing to show you uh, that order must be maintained. Cement is to sand. Here also cement is to sand. Okay, so now I am calculating. I am finding the value of x. One by five is equal to x by two hundred implies cross multiplying. Five x is equal to two hundred implies x is equal to two hundred divided by five. Four zero. That means forty x. This is the answer. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the video. And if you have any doubt, then you can share with me in below comment section. So see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye.